Good morning everyone. Today I'll be discussing the module number 6 of SES which is entitled Biodiversity and Healthy Society. I am Mr. Nico Lorenz Lozin, your course instructor. Based on the module, the following objectives are as follows. Define biodiversity and its level. Determine the interrelatedness of society, environment, and health. Create a diagram that would show the relatedness of species in forming up a diverse and healthy society without compromising one another. And identify the everyday tasks and evaluate whether they contribute to the wellness and health of biodiversity and society or not. So based on the video, we have two initial activities which we're going to watch and answer the following questions. The first video is in Filipino language, the second video is in this English language. So the following questions were raised, ano ang biodiversity? So when we say biodiversity, it was termed by Walter G. Rosen in 1986. And according to IUCN, it is defined as the variety and variability of species in their population the variety of species of their life form, and the diversity of the complex association with species with interaction and their ecological processes which influences perform. So now based on the definition, we have three levels of biodiversity. The first one is the genetic diversity, which talks about the variety and variability within species level. While the species diversity, it talks about the variation between species level. So how are we going to differentiate that? For example, you have dog or you have dogs and you have varieties of dogs. For example, you have chow chow, you have huskies, you have golden retriever. So they belong in the same species and they just have genetic diversity their variation is responsible because of their genetic diversity species diversity when you're going to compare the dogs that i have mentioned to other species of dog family example the wolf you may see association or similarities between the species because they came from same family however they have genetic diversities within the respective species okay in terms of ecosystem diversity it talks about the difference in terms of the environment that they are dealing with or the ecosystem that they are dealing with ecosystem diversity sometimes they refer this as ecological diversity for example the species that lives within this grassland or this forest is different from the converted land so the different species will vary will be varied based on the environment that they are dealing with second question ano ano ang mga kahalagahan ng biodiversity Later, I will discuss the importance that we get from that. Bakit ang Pilipinas ay may turing na isa sa mga pinakamayamang biodiversity? Because 70 to 80 percent of the species all over the world can be found in the Philippines. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng biological hotspot at bakit kasama dito ang Pilipinas? We say biological hotspot is a site in the globe that extinction that the level of extinction is very massive so for the second video what are the roles of individual species mentioned in the video in terms of maintaining healthy biodiversity so there were different species that were mentioned in the video so what is the the essence of the species so we can see the interrelatedness of one species to another from the producer from the consumers consumer that disperse the seeds of the producers and also we have decomposers 
So for the roles of that, those are the roles. And for the species, you may find out them by watching the video. What are the advantages of having high genetic diversity in, in or within and between species level? So the answer is, the more varied the genes are, the more surviving it will become. So for example, if the sets of genes in an organism is highly different from one another, the greater the variation, the less pro or the lesser they're prone to being infected by any disease or any disease causing agent. For example, in bacteria, in uh, when we are infected by a specific set of bacteria, we, we are only required to take, most of the time, we are only required to take one type of antibiotic because bacteria, they just multiply uh, by genetic duplication. Unlike other organisms, they multiply by genetic recombination. So since genetic duplication you just duplicate the parent cell into many daughter cells. So you are expecting that since it's duplication, the copy of the gene of the parent is the same with the copy of the gene of the daughter cells or the offspring. So you were so since you are just duplicate duplicate copy, one antibiotic can already uh, can already kill those bacteria so what the lesser the variant the less surviving it becomes next why are coral described as a keystone or important species in this video because coral serves as the breeding of breeding ground or habitat of different fishes mollusks and marine arthropods okay next based on also in the video it is uh, based on the module it is described as a source of essential goods whether direct or indirect we'll see direct consumption whatever we harvest from the biodiversity we consume that immediately when you say uh indirect we convert products out of the raw materials that we get from biodiversity and ecological services that constitute the source of life for all and it has direct consumptive value in food, agriculture, medicine, and industry. So example of ecological services are ecotourism, national park, theme park that is provided by ecosystem or biodiversity now based on this diagram these are the sources or these are our natural resources land water soil and air and the benefits that we get from them is a strong economy well-being food and water material food water and materials raw materials specifically public health and these are the drivers of change the policy that we implement the climate change the pollution and the land use because we convert most agricultural land into commercial land so that we can so that we can provide more shelter or habitat for increasing population So based on the videos that we have watched from several modules, we clearly see that overpopulation really affects the environment. So these are the nutritional impact of biodiversity. First, first we get healthy local diets with adequate average level of nutrients intake. Necessitates maintenance of high biodiversity level. We can also get intensified and enhanced food production through irrigation, 
use of fertilizer, plant protections, or introduction of crop varieties and cropping pattern effects by the industry. And thus, global impact uh, does the impact global nutritional status and health and human health. So here, we harvest different fruits and vegetables and other products. And out of that, we also invent different alternative medicine by identifying the active component or active biomolecules that we can extract from those biodiversity products. Example, these fruits, these leaves, the ginger, and other products. Now, we, since we are facing problems in terms of overpopulation, we also experiencing loss of species by diversity. So every minute, every 20 minutes, 3,500 human lives. And it is, it is equated to one or more species loss. So imagine we experience 27,000 species loss a year. And every 60 minutes, two, 240 acres were destroyed. Why? Because our needs for papers, paper towel, tissue paper, and any products that we need, that's why we cut several trees. Thus, 75% of genetic diversities in agricultural crops have been lost. 70% of the world's known species risk extension of the global temperature rises by more than 3.5 degrees Celsius. And other statistics that destroys are the following. First, one out of four amphibians lost, birds, conifers, uh, mammals, are threatened by extinction. The main reason, of course, habitat destruction. We destroy their natural habitat for the sake of supplying our needs, such as the trees that we need, the space that we need, because we need, we need space for habitat shelter of human, that is why it is said that the major cause is human population, which is doubled in number since 1962, 7.4 billion. And these are the threats to biodiversity. As mentioned before, we have habitat loss and destruction, alteration in ecosystem. This one is associated with this. And this one, the, the way we alter the ecosystem, it is also a product of habitat loss. Because we destroy their ecosystem, what happened is we alter the type of ecosystem, thus the organisms that we leave them, that, that we leave there, might change. So, for example, from the three trees, it becomes an empty soil. 